I'll be the first to admit it. My willpower to avoid digital time wasters like television, <laughs> social media, surfing the internet, isn't that great throughout the course of the day. I can easily get distracted. Even if I'm working on something that I'm really interested in, getting distracted is something that is very, very easy for me because the pull of all these digital distractions is so great. Whether I'm working in an office, whether I'm working at home, either way, digital distractions pull my attention away from the important things in my life. And so today's video is about sharing with you three strategies that will perhaps help you to overcome these digital distractions yourself and have more time uh, to spend on things that are important to you, whether it's to spend more time working on the projects that are important to you, or perhaps it's to spend more time with family members, having great conversations with family members at home or, or friends, or just doing other outside of work pursuits that you enjoy that perhaps you find that at the end of the day or at the end of the week you realize, I just didn't seem to have enough time to do these things. So the three strategies are the following. Number one, give the remote control of your television to someone you really, really trust and ask them to hide it. Ask them to hide it and no matter what you ask them, no matter how much you beg them, tell them not to give you that control back until perhaps the weekend or only give it to you on special occasions. This is just a very simple way to get rid of the big distraction that television is. I'm actually a big proponent of just getting rid of your television uh, in totality, but uh, for some people that just is absolutely crazy and if you live in a family with lots of people, that becomes a little bit of a challenge. But just getting rid of your remote controller, just hiding it and giving it to somebody is just a simple way to reduce the distraction of just simply getting back from a long day of work, sitting down and just watching one hour, two hour, three hour, four hours of Netflix and your day goes by and then you realize perhaps you sacrificed uh, potentially time speaking with your loved ones or friends at home because you've just ended up watching television. The second strategy is to use a website blocker. A website blocker. Uh, there's one great one that's called self-control. And what the beauty of these website blockers is, is that whether it's a PC or your, or your Mac, you put in the names of websites into this blocker and it prevents you from accessing them, those websites during a specific period of time. Some people put it during work hours, other people doing, do it during the week. And for me, I actually set mine 10, 20, sometimes even 30 days in advance for websites like news channels or, or, or just fun distraction websites like board.com or uh, boardpanda.com. These are things that can easily take my, my attention away from whatever is important. So I put those in there and then, you know what, if I can't access it, I give up. <laughs> and then they don't become a problem. So that's the second strategy. The third strategy is simply to delete any unnecessary apps from your smartphone that, that are non-essential, that are essentially non-communication focused or non-productivity focused that are there that really just amount to be a distraction or something to do when you are bored. Maybe these are social media apps. Maybe these are game apps. Maybe these are just fun kind of creative play around apps that generally speaking, yeah, they're fun, they're novel, but they really serve more of a problem or a nuisance to you than actually being something that's beneficial. Now, I'll be very honest with you, social media is a very valuable tool if you use it as such. However, if it's a distraction, it's more of a nuisance. And therefore, with social media, download it, upload your posts, comment as much as you need to, and then delete the app till the next time you need to upload and download. I know it requires a little bit more effort, but if you're someone who's, who really battles with distraction and finding enough time to do the things that you really care about because you're just distracted by digital distractions, this is just a very simple way to perhaps help you deal with that. So there you have it. Three strategies to help you have a little bit more willpower throughout the course of the day to help you have a little bit more time. Number one, Hide your remote control or get rid of your television. Number two, use a website blocker. And number three, uh, remove all non-essential, non-communication related apps from your phone and just simply download them when you absolutely need them. If you're interested in learning more about strategies like this and other professional development focused strategies, feel free to visit my website at www.johngodoy.com to learn more.